Hey there, this is Papa Bear back with another gear video uh, from my Bama to Baxter uh, through hike this year on the Pinhoti and Appalachian Trail. Um, in this gear video, I'm going to go through my shelter system and sleep system. So I'm currently out on a overnight cold weather test. Um, so I'll start out with my tent. So I'm taking uh, the Z-Pax Altiplex tent. Um, I have roughly, you know, somewhere between 20 to 25 nights in this tent. Overall, it's worked really good for me. It's nice and lightweight um, and like the setup. Um, on my last cold weather test, I had a lot of condensation on the inside, so I'll see how that goes on this trip. Um, but before I get to setting it up and showing it to you, I'll first show you one of the gear hacks that has worked out really good for me. In cold weather, I found that having um, having a footprint um it, it's almost necessary to help with um having that extra uh like moisture barrier between the ground and the tent and your sleep system and it helps keep down some of the condensation um so um what what i've come up with so the i have the ground sheet from z packs that's made for the altiplex and it has different tie out points on it um there's uh on each cor on each of the four corners there's a tie out point and then on like midway up on the sides there's a tie out and it's it's meant to be staked into the ground but i didn't want to carry extra stakes with me so i've added um clips uh four clips on each of the corners of the tent so i can clip it uh, between the tent uh, clip the tent to the ground sheet and that seems to work out really well also with my setup i carry uh 10 of the um, carbon uh, stakes also got these from z-packs um, i use all 10 stakes uh, to stake out my my tent um, and that seems to overall work good if i happen to lose one i can always find a rock somewhere um, or another way to tie it down but really it, it only needs about eight but i just i stake all 10 um, tie outs down just to give me extra room on the inside So my it, rest of my sleep my sleep system I got the Sea to Summit Arrows pillow. This is the regular size uh, for my sleeping pad. The Thermo Rest X Light, and then the quilt I'm going with is the 10 degree Enlightened Equipment. Um, and then the other thing I'll point out is. I'm only five foot six, um, so what I did was I cut off about six or eight inches off the bottom of my thermo rest pad, and then I resealed it using a hot iron. Um, and so far, that's held up really good. Yeah, so there it is. That's the rest of my sleep system. Um, on my first cold weather shakedown hike, uh, I got down to 15 degrees. I had the uh, Thermarest X Therm pad, and what I found was, you know, down to uh, like 20 degrees or warmer, um, it, it just caused me to sweat at night, so it was a little too warm. Um, so, um, going with the X Light pad, I do have the Gossamer Gear 8 inch foam pad um, under this for tonight. I don't know if I'm taking that on the trip, um, that's going to be a last minute decision. Um, I don't think I'm really going to need it, but, um, yeah, that's my sleep system and my shelter for my through hike. So, uh, thanks for checking this out. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. This is Papa Bear with Bear Trick Adventures out.